Hello there, I'm Chernet. Welcome to our channel. Today we have brought to you do-it-yourself nesting table design ideas for small scale manufacturing. This video contains a beautiful collection of DIY nesting table design ideas which you can copy and duplicate at your own workshop. You can pick your favorite design and try to make it at home or show it to your local shop so that they can make one for you. You can even turn these plants or designs into a lucrative small scale manufacturing business with a small initial investment on basic tools and materials. So watch the video until the end and choose an inspiring design for your next project. If you are new to the channel and if you like what you see, please consider subscribing to the channel and smashing that notification bell so that you will be notified when we upload new videos. If you are already a subscribed member, please like and share this video so that it could reach a wide range of audience and inspire a lot of people. Stackable tables are not new idea. The nesting tables were first made in the late 18th century by Thomas Schratten, the English cabinet maker. The first ones were made of satin wood or mahogany, later ones of papier mesh, Chinese style lacquer and other types of finishes. Nesting tables were made in sets of three or four tables. They were designed to fit one under the other. This meant a group of tables could take the same space as one. In the 18th century, furniture was placed near the wall and was moved to an appropriate place when used. At tea time, a servant would pull a chair and a small table from the wall to the center of the room. After tea, the furniture was moved back to the wall, so the space in the center of the room was kept open. The nesting tables survived the changes of style that moved the furniture to a permanent position in the center of the room. The small, light tables were still needed as game boards. They also held dishes for unexpected company. Today's TV snack sets are the 20th century versions of nesting tables. These sets were designed to take up as little space as possible in the much smaller houses in the UK. Solid mahogany nests of four tables has to be one of the most popular designs and have now become very trendy especially as homes have become smaller and we struggle with available space they are very versatile and can be used as individual tables for guests when entertaining card games and are the perfect size for your little ones when drawing or coloring in. Even in the modern times, the solid mahogany furniture is handworked with traditional tools by master craftsmen, replicating the exact proportions and carving details commissioned centuries ago. The techniques of antiquing, patina simulation and polishing make each piece of furniture virtually indistinguishable from the original. Antique nests of tables, or also known as nesting tables, are not only very versatile but also very pretty pieces of furniture to look at. Antique nests of tables were first illustrated by Sheraton in his cabinet directory of 1803, described as Quartito tables stated they are useful for needlework. 
the furniture designer, designer George Smith in 1808 described them as the ideal tables for serving refreshments. And thickness of tables were made throughout the 19th century. Victoria and Edwardian periods in three main timbers, mahogany, walnut, and on rare, on rare occasions figured rosewood. They were made by renowned makers such as Maple and Co. and Waring and Gillows of Lancaster with either three or four tables that nest together beautifully when not in use. Each table would be beautifully figured, sometimes inlaid with satin wood crows, banding and boxwood string inlay. They still stand on elegant turned upright supports and splayed feet. The best examples having cross stretchers for added stability. Their use can be for small drink tables when guests are in your home to a side or lamp table. Regarding tools and materials used to construct your own pieces, wood, metal, MDF, and sometimes glass are used as building materials for nesting tables. Different types of wood could be used to build the nesting tables. The most highly preferred choice is mahogany. It's a pricier wood, but these tables don't require that much. MDF is another material which is widely used in the construction of nesting tables, especially these days. And it is one of the highly decorative pieces of material you can use because you can end up with different surface finishes, different colors, and also there are laminated MDF which gives you very interesting comparative finishing colors. Metal is also widely used for frame material, for leg material, and in other sections also. When we come to tools, table saw makes the ripping easier and produces accurate cross cuts. For the pocket screws, we use pocket jigs such as the pocket screw making jigs or tools. A drill, a sander and other power tools used in woodworking are also essential. Regarding finishing, sandpapers fine grade sandpapers, masking tapes, stains, paints, polyurethane finishes or varnishes are used as finishing materials when making nesting tables. As you can see in the design there are different varieties of nesting tables. Some of them are completely made of wood. Some have metal legs and metal frames with wooden tops. Some have MDF, to MDF tops and wooden legs. There are different variations. Different variations in design, variations in size, variations in detail. With such a variety of options, there are no limits to the nesting tables and their design potential. They could be made to be very budget friendly or they could be made to be expensive based on the design and materials used. As you can see in the video we have compiled a number of nesting table design ideas for your inspiration. If you like what you see, if you like such content, please consider subscribing to our channel if you haven't already 
and smash that notification bell so that you will be the first one to be notified when we upload new videos. Thank you for watching. Thank you for staying with us. We look forward to seeing you in our next video. As you know, our channel is full of such design ideas, manufacturing design ideas, manufacturing tips and information. So you can explore the rest of our videos. Thank you for watching. Stay safe. Stay blessed. See you in our next video.